Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome to Jim Carrey Month number three, and I am reviewing the 2007 movie, The Number 23, as requested by Joshua Drake. Um, so this is a 2007 psychological thriller film written by Fernley Phillips and directed by Joel Schumacher, starring Jim Carrey. The film was released in the U.S. on February 20, February 23rd, 2007. The second. This is the second film to pair Schumacher and Carrie, at first being Batman Forever, which I actually enjoy, but just me. <laughs> um, Jim Carrie was nominated for a Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Actor and Worst Performance in the film, where he lost to Eddie Murphy for Norbert. Okay, that nomination went undeserving, but I will get to that later. So basically, the plot of this movie is uh, Jim Carrey plays this dog catcher who gets this book, you know, whose wife buys him this book called The Number 23, like the movie title. And upon reading the book, he starts, you know, becoming obsessed with this number 23. You know, the stuff, stuff that he sees around him starts adding up to 23. And a bunch of other psychological stuff happens. Um... And there's a big plot twist at the end of the movie, which I'm not going to give away for people who, you know, have never seen the movie. I mean, it's been out for almost ten years, but how can you not seen the movie? Just, I mean, just because the critics are doing this, uh, you know, just because the critics are doing that, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, so what do I think of this movie? I think it's an overall enjoyable film. Um, you know, I only agree with some, like, two of the critic complaints, which is... Yes, some of the plot points are a little confusing and a little bit hard to understand, which that's kind of, I think it's really normal with any psychological thriller movie, but and I, I'll give the critics that complaint. And also, another complaint I will give the critics is that the, the twist at the end of the movie, which I'm not going to reveal, did come out of nowhere and felt a little forced. Mostly come out of nowhere, though. All in all, I do enjoy this film. It's not one of Carrie's best, but it was nice to see him step out of his comfort zone for a bit, you know. And now I think he's basically bouncing between comedy and, you know, the dramatic roles, which is good, you know, because he doesn't want any known versus a comedy roles, but what? Which I appreciate. Um, so the Golden, okay, the Golden Raspberry Award nomination for the Carrie got for this movie, undeserving. Because even in bad Jim Carrey, even in his bad movies, Jim Carrey still gives a good performance. Okay. Fuck what the critics say. Let's see. So this movie, like I said, was released in February 2000, 23, 2007, with a runtime of 98 minutes, so an hour and 38 minutes, which is about, which that's basically what the theatrical, basically what the theatrical cut is. Let is the runtime is the extended cut is basically I want to say an hour and 40 some minutes yeah it's an hour and 41 minutes so it's basically just three extra minutes so it's I don't think it's really much of anything it's just like like nude scenes and other for lack of a better phrase corn related stuff really like nude scenes extra a lot of blood, you know, st stuff like that. So not really much. Um, so the budget was three thirty million dollars, and the box office was seventy-seven point six. Very cool. Um, film stars Jim Carrey, uh, Virginia Madsen, Logan Lerman, who would become famous for, for the Percy Jackson movies. Um, Danny Houston, Ron, uh, Rona Mitra, um, and a bunch of other stuff I'm not gonna, people I'm not gonna mention. Um, so, yeah, all in all, I think this is a very enjoyable film. Um, is it one of Carrie's best? Probably not, but I do give him credit for stepping out of his comfort zone. And I do admit this is, you know, this is a very enjoyable film, which I've done multiple times. Um, the weird thing, though, about this DVD is that someone else's name is on my DVD. 
That is not cool. Granted, where I bought it, it was high explanation. And then you the disc is initial. See? You know, if you plan on selling your movies to. Okay, I got this movie at a place called Disc Replay, which you are allowed to sell your movies to them and they will in turn sell them to other people. So, if you're going to sell a movie to someone or some place, don't initial it. I'm just saying. But anyway, all in all, I think it's a great movie. Um, not one of Carrie's best, but quite enjoyable, I think. It's far better than what the critics, critics were saying about it, you know. But that's just my opinion. I'm entitled to it. You guys make up your own opinions on the movie. So, um, hope you enjoyed the hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys later. See you guys for the next Jim Carrey video. Bye bye.